Okay, today we're going to be talking about choosing the perfect mid-weight sleeping bag as we move into the warm sunny weather, which seems to have vanished, it's grey outside. But um, we've been getting dozens and dozens of questions about what should I dress my baby in, what weight of temperature, what weight of bag should I get, what is a tog, all the questions. So we're here to answer all your questions about mid-weight moving into summer sleeping bags. We're going to focus on the mid-weight ones because they're right for now and then once it's really hot we will do another live on the super lightest weight bag which will be your number one question <laughs> as we move into what's going to be a really hot long summer. And we think that you like giveaways too so do stick around if you want to win a free sleeping bag. So first let's just talk about um, why to use a sleeping bag as it gets warmer and I've seen this question popping up um, in emails but also on kind of mums groups and just kind of Facebook chatter so there's lots of reasons to keep using a sleeping bag as it gets warm. The first one is safety and that's you know one of the key reasons to use a sleeping bag is to not have loose things in the in the cot so if you use a lightweight sleeping bag it stays on your baby rather than here I'll just feed the baby so the lightweight sleeping bag will stay on your child whereas if you have a light flimsy blanket it can still end up over your child's face so dress them in the bedding that you need using a sleeping bag and avoid just having loose things kicking around the second reason is that um, you know what your child's dressed in so even if it's a light weight merino bag like this one they're going to be cozy and stay the right temperature you don't want them obviously too cozy in summer but you do want them to be the right temperature not too hot or having kicked everything off and then wake up cold and I think that's particularly relevant now just as it's moving into summer the nights are still quite cool and they kind of chop and change through the night so just sort of consistency of knowing your child's dressed um, and then the third reason is the sleep association that you get from using a sleeping bag so that means you can go to stay in a motel you can go to grandma's you can go all around all around summer sleep your baby anywhere and the bag tells them that it's bedtime and that's consistent for them no matter where you cart your child around so <clears throat> that's a really good reason to stick with it um, and not sort of just go oh it's hot we'll just use a sheet but sheet doesn't sort of like feel and smell like home um, and then one actually one other thing which is unique to using a bag in summer is that you might not feel like you need the warmth of a sleeping bag when it's hot but come April next year when the nights go back to being freezing you could well wish that you'd stuck with the bag when your you know 18 month or two year old screams the house down and refuses to go back into a bag they will seldom protest about carrying on using a bag right through summer but you will get kicking up with you know toddlers if you try to put them back into a bag so just stick with the light one carry on all through summer and then you can ease back into a warm one as needed okay so let's talk about um tog ratings so generally the lower the number the lighter weight and the cooler the bag and the higher the number um, the warmer the, the bag is so in the winter we talked about 2.5 and 3.5 togs which are chunky um, sort of like this one here is a you know 2.5 you can see it's quilted and it's cozy that's all that's what would generally be used whoopsie that's my instructions <laughs> Generally the higher togs at 2.5, 3.5 you use them in the cooler months and then in the summer months you use like a 1 tog or a 0.5 or 0.2 tog. Um, the number relates loosely to how many blankets it would be equivalent to. So if you can see like one of these adorable little 1 tog bags, that's equivalent to one light blanket. You know approximately and if you're looking for really cool uh, bags then you want like a 0.5 or even a 0.2 there's very very little difference you don't need to kind of agonize about should I have 0.2 should I have 0.3 oh my goodness it might be overheat my baby you won't <laughs> and the way that the testing's done there's actually a 0.5 um, allowance so you can call a bag 0.1 that actually tests as 0.5 there's that or you know margin of error allowance made with tog testing so don't agonize too much about 
um, getting the the lowest possible number it might not actually mean it's cooler than the one that's like a 0.5 or the difference between a 0.8 and a 1 say there would be no dis no difference um, and then you get bags like our 100% merino which I have to say are just about sold out until next winter so you do want to snap that up if you were looking for one what am I looking for Sleep Store um, Merino and Wool Babe and other 100% Merino bags are not TOG rated and that's because um, the way that Merino works is temperature regulating and it covers a broad temperature range. So something like a, you know, a grow bag will have, where does it say, not on there, huh? maybe like on here. You know, the different togs will have different, very narrow temperature ranges that you can use them in. Generally a one tog, which would be the mid-weight sort of bag, used for 20 to 25 degrees. Whereas something like a season's wool bag, which is our most popular mid-weight bag, you can use that from 18 degrees up to probably 28 degrees. So you don't need to kind of pigeonhole it into a really narrow range. You can use it, just change the clothing and it will be fine and really wide versatile room temperature range um okay do we have any questions um uh, just anyone watching to, wave yeah. give us a give us a something if yeah, you're watching lots of, lots of thumbs up oh yay um i'm just moving a question from tori ramsey i'm just moving into sleeping bags but my word that the arms will get cold i have a three kilogram newborn who sleeps in a co-sleeper on my bed okay so at this time of the year it can still be cool and particularly newborns um, you do need to make sure your newborn is cozy and warm but not too warm so um, in terms of the arms don't worry too much about the arms hands particularly will often feel cool um, um, so you just probably want one or two light layers with the newborn if you're using a sleeping bag if you're using a swaddle something like um, ergo cocoon where the arms are in this one is a really great product because you can have the arms in or out so if you're using something that's totally enclosed like that picture you will probably need a layer less than if you use a sleeping uh, using a sleeping bag and the arms are out but at this time of the year I would really recommend that you stick with using merino clothing so something like a little um, merino all-in-one or even a merino gown so you don't have to worry about the zips you just lift it up for the nappies and so that um, inside a bag that'll keep the core um, warm and it will keep the arms plenty warm enough and then extra layer on the core and keeping the legs cozy and if you're using 100% merino it's really really unlikely you'll overheat your baby because it helps to regulate their temperature like my um, eight-year-old, he's currently still sleeping in a winter weight, not really winter weight, 100% um, merino onesie with a duvet over the top. And he slept beautifully. <laughs> I had to wake him up a quarter to eight, so totally go with the merino. So that's a really good way of sort of using a lighter weight or a mid-weight bag and then dress up your layers of merino. You could use a bodysuit, then a gown, then a bag. Um, and then as it gets into the middle of summer, you might just need even a singlet suit and your bag. And you've just invested in the one mid-weight bag. Okay, so maybe we should have a... Tori look. says thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Tori. Thank <laughs> you for watching. Um, okay, so I've got written down here, have we covered the TOG? If there's any more TOG questions, let me know and I'll come back to that topic. This is like a... This was our sleep store um, bag from last year. And then I'm going to show you the new designs, hot off the press. And this stock arrives next week, so you can pre-order after today. Um, and the stock will be here next week. Um, our bags are made in India. And because the monsoon was horrible and late, the ink wouldn't set on our bags. <laughs> so they're just being printed as we speak, and they will be coming by air and arriving next week. So this is like a 0.5 tog so it's one layer so just a t-shirt weight um whereas i bust into these 
grow bags. So our grow bags are really late. They will also be here next week. Um, so grow bag have always been a really popular brand for summer. This is a one tog. And you can see the difference between our sleep store 0.5 tog is this is two layers. So like a t-shirt weight for the lining and then a sheet on the outside. So this one will be a little bit warmer than the one layer. And then, what's another good example? So this cute little one here, this is a one tog. Oops, I opened that the wrong way. I'll show you. So this is one layer, but it's like a sweatshirt weight. So it's thick, brushed cotton, one layer. So that's a, a nice, cozy little one tog. Again, you can use the arms in or out. Right, so your sleep store bag. Should we show a little sneaky peek of the new designs now? Would that be a good time? Good time. Good time. Oh, and there's 100% Merino ones. We have chosen our range for next year. Thank you to everyone who gave us feedback in our different um, sleep support groups. I'd had some little polls about should we get the oatmeal, should we get the dark green. Then I was like, oh, let's just get both because I couldn't decide. So <laughs> thank you for your help with that. Okay, so these are the prints that the sleeping bags are coming in soon. So this um, is called Dalmatian, and this will be coming in 0.2 tog um, and one tog, and then sheets and swaddles and um, duvets and all the things. So our fabric for our sleep store summer bags is still got certified organic cotton, but we have put a little bit of lycra. So they'll have extra stretch, so it'll mean they hold their shape beautifully and they'll um, be really good for wrigglers. And for things like the little baby gowns and the swaddles, that extra stretch will be super good. So Dalmatian is coming in that colour. What's this one called, James? This, um, does this have a name? X, Cross, yeah, yeah. Kisses, something. Name. Yeah, that one's coming. I think those are the final colours. And then this coarse body one. I think this is my favourite. And then this one here, what do we call this one? Bark? Yeah. Bark. So bark is coming in that beautiful atoll blue or whatever that was called and this funky bright yellow, which is actually I think maybe the yellow is my favourite. And then what else is really exciting is that these are also coming in summer pyjamas. See, I'm going to get totally sidetracked now. And so you can do like the pyjamas under your sleeping bag. You could go matchy matchy or you can put like the yellow jammies under the cross sleeping bag or whatever and the colors also go back with our um, merino not those ones but like lots of the onesies that we did in these zip suits and things so like the those colors go back under the bags as well and then also we're doing this adorable little cloud print the scale's not right on this. If you have a look on our Facebook page, I posted, I think, the pink one. So you can see the scale of um, the clouds are quite big. And they're very cute. So that is all coming next week. Okay, so my next question. Why use merino in summer and won't it be too hot? So we have had lots of questions coming through to customer services um, about sleeping bags and our team will generally recommend a sleeping bag with merino in it because you get the benefits of the temperature regulation and then the same with what shall I dress my baby and we will always say merino because it's so much easier you don't have to get it you don't have to worry so much about how many layers and what if my baby's too hot what if my baby's too cold if you use merino year round they would just be the right temperature and you just alternate it the number of layers so like a little merino singlet with a pair of undies or you know shorty jammy pants that's brilliant for jammies when it's hot and then when it's cooler put something else over your merino so for those of you with little newborns um, or who are still swaddling we would always say right through the summer unless you're using no clothes because it's that hot always make your first layer merino and then in terms of bags, using a wool babe that's 30% merino, it gives you the cool feeling of cotton, but it has 30% merino. So all those benefits of the temperature regulation you can still get, 
um, but you have a cooler, cottony feeling bag. Okay, then we do have had some questions about organic bags, whether you should have organic versus non-organic. It's really a you know personal preference if that's a factor that's you know important to you. Where we can with our sleep store range, we do get organic cotton and we have to you know bargain pretty hard to make sure that it's still at the price of non-organic because we want you to be able to have the benefits. Um, and for those of you that it's an important feature. So all of our sleep store organic has got certified, which is the highest rating you can get for your organic products. Um, and then also our friends at Ergo Pouch, all of their range is organic and all of the Nature Baby is organic. So we do try to make sure we've got a good range of that. It just means there's less chemicals, um, there haven't been chemicals used when growing the cotton and the processing is, is obviously cleaner and so on. Um, so you can check that out on our website if you want to know more about the organic or the suppliers' websites will have details too. We can't um, do it with our merino, 100% merino is not organic, um, but the wool babe, the cotton is organic. So 70% organic cotton and 30% non-organic merino. Right. Um, should we have a giveaway? Why not? Let's have a giveaway. Okay, so what you can um, win is you can win one of our sleep store um, cotton bags which are coming next week. And so you can just tell us which of the prints that you like. I'll spread them out. And then when they come in next week, we'll send it to you. You will have to be patient and wait till next week. I feel like there's one missing. There's another stripey one that... Um, we don't have the strike off for. There, yeah, and you can tell us would you like point two tog or one tog and which of those cute prints you would like. And then we'll pick a winner, I think by the end of the Facebook. Okay, what is the ideal temperature at night for your baby's room? Well, the ideal temperature is between 18 and 20 degrees. Um, that's based on World Health recommendations, and that's allowed a cleaning shipping container outside the window, filled with our beautiful sleep store cots, <laughs> which are just being unloaded. So yeah, 18 to 20 degrees is the ideal room temperature, according to the World Health Organization, not too hot, 18 degrees is the temperature that your body is most likely to fall asleep easily at, based on research, I didn't do that, it's based on science. Um, and below 16 degrees, your child's at risk of respiratory illness. Not that you're gonna suffer from that in summer. Um, but that sort of comes down to how do you keep your baby's room at 20 degrees? Well, in a lot of houses, that's frankly impossible in the summer. Just do the best you can, reduce the layers of clothes. Um, you can do, um, <laughs> we've got like people coming back from lunch. Would you like to come and join in, ladies? <laughs> Right. No shame. Um, so you can do things like have a fan on, leave the window open, um, you know, you can try a, a damp face cloth, you know, wipe, sponge your baby down if they get really hot. But the key thing is just using light layers and, you know, paying close attention to your baby to make sure that you've got those layers right. Um, check your baby on the like the ear with the back of your hand. If you use the front of your hand, it will always be like clammy and hot feeling. So use the back of your hand on the ear or like um, use your hand down on their chest. And you're just looking for your baby to feel comfortable. If they're red and sweaty, they are too hot. <laughs> so apart from red and sweaty, you don't need to worry too much. You'll probably have it there or thereabouts right. Thing. We get so many questions from people agonising about the layers and the clothes and which weight and all of those things. As long as they're not red and sweaty, you've got it pretty much right. Um, so most sleeping bags now come with some kind of um, guidelines of suggestions. It's um, just suggestions based on you know what works for other people and the weight of the products and so on. And a lot of sleeping bags also come with a room thermometer. They're again, very approximate. Yeah, so with your guidelines here, you can see it like 20 to 22 degrees. Um, just so, Ergo Pouch and Wool Babe, you'll both get that. Um, and the other tip too with the amount of clothing is dress for the coolest part of the night. So at the moment, 
um, in Auckland. Um, I like to sleep with my window open. I just like the kind of fresh air and some nights it's like kicking all the bedding off and some nights it's really quite cold. So, um, you know, just be aware that the nights are changing, but dress for what you think is going to be the coolest part of the not night, not the kind of hot, sweaty evening. Because if you dress for the hot, sweaty evening, when it's cold at three or four, your baby will wake up screaming will be hard to get back to sleep okay so shall we um just quickly go through some different should we look at the different bags or should we just talk about the features features is good eh? just the features we don't talk often about features yeah okay let's just run through we'll just use a wool babe for example um and then we'll draw the draw the winner of the sleeping bag so this is our most popular wool babe for the um, warmer months, well actually year round because you can use it in the winter with more clothes. So this bag has a double ended zip, which most double ended zips are like this one and that they close at the top. Then I'm going to try and do that upside down, I'll fail. So it closes at the top which means that the bulky part of the zip is not by your baby's face. Oops, actually you can't do it upside down. And so it zips downwards out of, out of the way. If you're just using it in bed, you don't really need to use that bottom zip pull. Just use the one and you can pull it up to change nappy um, and to get in and out of the bag. This here, so um, yeah, so that's the zip, that's how you do that. Then um, little tabs here, some bags have some way of making the chest and the armholes a little bit smaller. So our wool babes are on these little tabs, which means it's not going to pull a hole in the fabric. And when would you use the tabs? Tabs on the 3 to 24 month, I would generally use it up to about 6 months. Some people will use it for longer, but you don't really need it um, beyond that. It's just to make it feel a little bit snugger on a little baby. Grow bag have um, similar, just on the 0 to 6 month. And then other, um, like the Ergo Cocoons, because it's a swaddle and sleeping bag, it's a pretty skinny fit and the armholes are quite small, so you don't need an adjustment, they're just already small. Uh, what other features would we like to know about? One thing probably to note is the neck hole. Um, the neck hole is your biggest thing you need to check for, for safety with a sleeping bag. Um, check when it's on your baby that they can't slip down. Um, some like the little unicorn are a slightly bigger neck than others. So again, just make sure it's a safe fit for your baby when you're using it. We have had that feedback that they're quite a generous, maybe they come from America, if they've got bigger heads in America. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> that was rude, sorry. Just jokes. Um, just make sure the fit is good. I mean, this one is a really light, breathable muslin, so if your baby did chew on it and have it up by their face, it would be super breathable, but um, that is the key thing to check from safety there. Um, also domes, so the grow bag, um, or wool babe, which other ones are a side zip? Nature baby is also a side zip I won't pull them all out because then when we send them to you and we've pulled them out you think it's second hand and then you're not very happy so <laughs> we'll try not to take them all out so nature baby is closed on one side and domes on the other wool babe is domes on both sides like that so side zip oh sample i was wondering why it was a bit wrinkly looking <laughs> it must be just the one we have in the office so you can open that out completely if you zip it right around and grow bag offers mostly side zip options now as well so which options better will be your next question and i'd say personal preference would be your the answer personally I always preferred a side zip because it's much much quicker whereas this you know you've got two domes and then you've still got to zip whereas with the wool babe it's just zip done and as kids get bigger as they get towards the end of this three to 24 month um, and then into a toddler bag once kids are toddlers they can bust those domes and chuck that bag over the cot whereas if you have a front zip 
um, in moments of desperation you can put it on backwards where they can't reach the zip and it will be more escape proof. Right, should we draw that sleeping bag winner, James? Oh, it froze now back on low. Yeah, it froze for about three, three or four seconds. For too long. I think it's like a warning from Facebook. You talk too much and you should yeah. shut up now. <laughs> yeah, okay. You should time it. Picture. See, okay. Let's so see where it happens. So, did you pick a winner for us, James? Yeah, the winner is Harriet. Harriet Banks. Harriet Banks. And which design did Harriet Banks win or choose? I think she chose the clouds. Clouds in the one tog. Clouds seem to be very popular on the feedback. The clouds are so cute. And the clouds, I have to tell you, is designed, actually all of these are designed by our own James, who's also on the wrong side of the camera. You could give them a sneaky peek of James. James is our marketing manager and he's also our design guru. So these are all, I believe this one was even hand drawn, am I correct? Yeah, with, uh, with charcoal. How about that? Hand drawn with charcoal and then turned into this. Yeah. So very clever. I've got a question from Rebecca. Um, what can you do if I've dressed Mrs. 19 month on the coldest part of the night, I only have a merino long sleeve, no leg base layer, and a wool bay bag, but to get her to sleep she is roasting hot? Right, so you could, you know, have you got a fan, have you got the window open? Um, that's probably all you can do. Have you got is it a lighter weight wool babe rather than duvet? Probably time to ditch the duvet bags unless you live in Antarctica. Um, or I got a photo of a friend of mine who lives like at the top of Canada at a polar research station. So he would still be dressing his children in a winter weight bag. Um, yeah, so you can really just do what you can to cool it down. If they really can't get to sleep, um, you know, maybe you could, will she go to sleep without the bag and then put the bag on before you go to bed but yeah fan um fan in the window open is the best way that you can cool it down if you don't have air con to one feature i forgot to mention oh james oh, yeah. the card the little card with the buggy oh, yeah. info rummage around yeah. so this is a travel slot um that quite a lot of sleeping bags have this feature um so you can put your buggy harness through the the buckle goes through the back um, and then the straps from your buggy go over and the, it buckles about here. So we just really, really want to emphasize that that is for buggies. Push chairs, buggy strollers, not for car seats. There's still quite a lot of confusion. And some brands, we're quite shocked, some brands are even still advertising it as that it's for use in car seats. So research from the States shows now really clearly you should not use bulky clothing snow suits, puffer jackets, or sleeping bags or sleep suits in the car seat because it can interfere with the way that the harness works. In a crash, the, buck, the harness is going to pull into your child and if you've got something bulky on, you're not going to have buckled it up tight enough. So we really, really want to emphasize that we really focus on getting that safety message out there and you must only use that travel slot in your buggy. So we are going to be um, sending out these little cards. Just really emphasising that point. And then going forward, our next shipment of wool babes, which will be coming... Is it on the wave ones? When they're coming? I think the next... The ones after that. Yeah, I think from Christmas onwards, wool babes are actually going to come with that um, in, sewn into the inside of the travel slot. We have tossed up about do we keep it, do we ditch it. Um, wool babe customers seem to like the flexibility, hence we're sticking with the safety message. On our sleep store bags, where's that one I had before? On our summer sleep store bags, we have actually made the call to drop it because, you know, people are not really using a bag in the same way in the summer. You just don't use anything in the push chair in the summer. Whereas in the winter, people are often using, you know, a bag instead of a blanket. So. So if there's any questions on that, do let us know and um, do rem you know point out to other companies that the information is really out of date and unsafe. Take the moral high ground on that one, I think. <laughs> right. So I think that's pretty much it. If there's any last questions, um, any last questions? 
Oh, I'll just quickly show you these while you check if there's any last questions. So love to dream. Um, we're going to be launching some pre Black Friday specials because Black Friday's coming. Is it next week? I'm a bit. Yeah. Next week, but we're impatient and people keep saying we need Black Friday special, so we're going to have Black Friday a week early and we'll just do it. You know we like a big sale and you guys like a big sale. So these bags in particular are going to be really, really cheap because we've just got some, these are last seasons. So the yellow, but we've got truckloads of the pink. So if you have a wearer of pink bags, the deal will be coming. I'm thinking around 25 Maybe. Does that sound cheap enough? Tell me if that's cheap enough. I think they were 80 when we first got them, so 25 sounds a bit silly. Okay, I'll do it. Um, so those are the, um, those ones. This is the current stock of the Loved Dream. It's like a muslin, but it's stretchy, so it won't rip um, the way that muslin can. That's one of our most popular super lightweight bags. Nature Baby summer bags always really popular they come in two options um 100 organic cotton two layers of cotton or uh, that one this one is the merino lined one so this one's a bit warmer so this is really a, a kind of a mid-weight perfect for now bag get the really cute nature baby prints or a stripe so you can see it's merino on the inside and cotton on the outside. Somebody said they sneezed. <laughs> can you tell them when the sale's coming because they missed it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, any day now. No, probably what's today, Wednesday. <laughs> I'd say we'll launch some specials tomorrow. I will put the pink bags in first now that I've promised you $25 on the pink bags. In fact, why don't I, after this Facebook Live, I'll make it my first job to put the pink bags on and you can snap them up. I hope that answered your question, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie, I broke the nature baby bag. The pool thing got it lost. It's true. Yeah. Here's a um, pop quiz for you that I tried on my family the other day that no one knew the answer to. What is the little sewing thing that you use to thread a drawstring cord? If anyone knows it, I'm going to give you a prize. It's a little device that you use, and it's not a safety pin. My cheating family tried to get the prize with safety pin. Um, so that's those ones. Grow bags, yeah, we'll have grow bags next week. Um, one togs and I think 0.5 togs. These are a two pack where you get a, a one tog and a 2.5. And then these ones are all swaddle, convertible swaddles. So these you can zip the wings off. Um, and use it just as a sleeping bag. So perfect if you're moving out of swaddling or you think you'll be ditching the swaddle in the next month or two. 50-50 is a really popular option. Lots of different weights, bamboo or cotton. And then the same with the ergo cocoon that I showed you. Arms in um, or arms out and use it as a little cute little sleeping bag. And then next week, I know we've had so many questions asking when our summer ergo pouch i have 80 boxes coming next week so if you're waiting for an ergo pouch bag just wait one more week um and we'll have these are the winter ones but just so you know it's coming we have the ones that are the smooth cotton with the stretchy panels which is called the sheeting bag and then we have the jersey bags um, which is stretchy all over and so the summer weight ones of those will be here next week going to be a busy week <laughs> i don't know how many boxes and trucks and pallets are coming did anyone get the answer about okay, this reading thing questions. safety pin lol not safety pin bobbin bob close bob uh, bobby pin no safety pin th heading needle no well, that might be cool but that's not the one i'm thinking threading of. needle bobbin is the closest but that's the thing that goes in the sewing machine oh yeah so, Bodkin! Did someone did get somebody it? get that? Jackie Anderson. Jackie Anderson! Oh, you win just... a secret prize. You can um, message us and we'll send you something for knowing Bodkin. There, there you go. go. We've okay. Actually, we've actually just frozen, but I'm recording. I'm back again. Okay. So <laughs> I think that wraps up today. So look out for the Pink Sleeping Bag special shortly. We've also got a killer deal coming on the last of our Rata Wool Babes. So it will be a free sleeping bag. Working! Oh, yes. I don't want to say yes, it's worked for me, but... Oh, let's tell them about it. I'll just get them and show you. 
it's a musical interlude. I'm coming back. Okay, so if you follow us um, with Wool Babe, you'll know that after many, many happy years of um, this colour, it's finished. Because we've got um, prints and we've got two amazing new colours for next winter and there's n we just can't have everything. So sorry Rata, you got dumped from the family. But we've got about, we've got 50 left. And to make them all go away today, this offer is for today. You get the summer weight free, 100% free. I hope that's how we set it up. When you buy the Rata duvet weight, you will get the Rata summer weight free. That's like a hundred bucks or something worth for free. That is a killer deal. It's only this afternoon. There's only 50. And only you people who watched all the end know about it. So that's your secret deal. It's set up as one per customer. One per customer. So if you want to buy multiple, you'll have to um, hmm, speak to a mate. Speak to a mate. <laughs> <laughs> you'll just have to put through two transactions or you'll just have to ring the office and pay manually for the second one. But are we saying one? We're just saying one set, eh? Yeah. I think, it's yeah. There's only 50. 50 will be gone in a flash. So that's your secret deal for your patience of sitting listening to me going blah, 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 blah about sleeping bags. So go forth. That deal is live now. So they've just got to add the duvet weight to their bag and then they'll have the option to add the summer weight. Oh, yeah. So add the Rata duvet to your cart and then it will give you the option of would you like to add this one for free. You don't have to. You can just pay full price for this and have a nice day. But you can add this one free. It won't add automatically. You have to choose 